Y'all know I gotta give myself a hip. Okay. I'll stand like this. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It's another get ready with me. Click, am I yelling? I feel like I'm yelling. Clink, clink, clink. You know, we gotta let T for the get ready with me. For today's get ready with me, it's going to be a full get ready with me. So, root of the tutor. Y'all know what root of the tutor means. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. This is like a realistic get ready with me for springtime. Now, I wanted to try on this Amazon dress. This is an Amazon dress, and I think it's super cute, but I wanna know what y'all think at the end of the video. Tell me what you think. I'll show you what it looks like. But I'll also get into the most important part on me. If my hair ain't done, I'm not done. So, of course, we have a new little unit right here. A beautiful wig. Like, look at this curl. And I ain't even have to do nothing to her. So this is like a simple get ready with me. So my makeup is really simple. And so is my hair. So this is like a new technology sort of wig where it comes like with these beautiful ringlets. It, this wig comes out of the pack ready. Like hairline plucked. We're gonna go ahead and get into the wig, but we're also gonna get into the simple makeup that I just did. I thought I ate, but girl, I barely took a bite. <laughs> but still, like give it a couple hours and I feel like it's gonna eat, but like right now it's just, it's not even snacking, girl. We're gonna go ahead and get into this look and I wanna say thank you to Wild African Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this video. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this wig application. First, I'm gonna show you how I applied it, what this wig looked like when she came out of the box. We're gonna get into the whole entire look. So if you wanna see everything I did to get this look, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. So your wig comes in the Wild African box and inside that box, of course, you receive your Wild African wig in a satin baggie and some gifts. Inside of that satin baggie, of course, you receive your wig. Now this wig is a gorgeous tight twisted curly 13 by six lace frontal wig. It is a clean bleach frontal, real HD lace, clean hairline, human hair soft wig. As you can see, when you pop the hood on the wig, there it comes with three combs, adjustable straps in the back, and an elastic band that you can remove. Now let's go ahead and apply this wig. Now, as I told you, this wig has a clean hairline and a clean bleach frontal. Clean hairline means you ain't gotta do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pluck it, you don't have to bleach your knots, you don't have to do nothing. It looks like a realistic hairline. So, in that state, girl, you don't have to do that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot comb. This is the Red by Kiss hot comb. And I'm just gonna flatten the hairline. We already did our base. Y'all know what the base is. It's a wig grip and a wig cap. That's as far as I go, girl. If you see my wig cap, I don't know what to tell you. I got a wig cap on. Did you think I didn't? You know what I'm saying? Like, is that a big deal? But we're gonna go ahead and reflatten the hairline, make sure all the hair is going straight back. But the hairline is already pre-flattened. As you can see, the lace looks like it's gonna blend into my skin very, very well. And that hairline is looking scrumptious. I mean, that was not the word to describe it, but that's okay. Now we're just gonna go ahead and cut off the lace. I'm gonna use my Annie shears and use a zigzag motion to cut this lace off so that the lace is looking real seamless and it looks like scalp. Now, this is when I noticed like, mm, I could risk it and just apply it. Or, because usually with the wild African wigs, Girl, you can just, it melts into the skin. But I wanted to add a little bit of color to it. So I used my lace tint from Kel and Derek and I just added a little bit of lace tint onto the hairline. I spray like two sprays on the brush and that's it. And what I'm also going to do is take my um, Dyson blow dryer and I'm just gonna blow that, blow dry that dry. Now that lace ended up a little bit more orange than I expected it to, I could have left it alone, but y'all know me. I just be doing stuff. So next we're gonna go ahead and apply the wig. I'm gonna use my Even Lace Bond Spray and that's how we're going to apply our wig and stick it to our forehead for a night, girl. So all I did was spray the Even Lace Bond Spray, wait till it got tacky and then apply the lace. And as you can see, baby, it's giving scalp. I mean, there was like, it just melts right into the skin. So I did that on both sides. I did that on the ear tabs and melted it down and I also did it on the other side as well. Now you do have to make sure it sticks, maybe because this lace is so thin. It's HD lace, so it's thin and it melts right into the skin. So it takes a little bit more time to let it stick. So use a tool or something to let it stick. But once it's stuck, girl, what, what lace 
Girl, where's the lace? Find it. Okay, it's like, where's Waldo? Find it if you can. So next I'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hairs. This didn't even need lip baby hairs, but y'all know me, I like a little baby hair moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my got to be glue gel and a baby hair brush just to lay down some very, very light baby hairs. For me, baby hairs either covers up my mistakes, which there are any without, there aren't any with these lace, with this lace, but it also creates more of a dimension with the hairline. And I love that look. It makes it look a little bit more realistic to me. So once that is complete, I'm just gonna go ahead and let the hair out and just fluff it out a little bit. And next, we're gonna go ahead and clean up this hairline. Now, one thing you gotta know, Miss Mams, Miss Mamas, is that um, I'm messy with the even spray. So I like to take a, a Q-tip and some micellar water just to clean up the sticky, shiny areas. We all get them, girl, just use some micellar water. It comes right up. I'm going to next melt down this hairline using the Wow African satin band that they gave me. Just tie that on up and let it sit for like, what, 10, 15 minutes to let it melt down. And then once you take it off, the hairline is giving very much root realness, okay? Y'all see that? It's melted right into the skin. So next we need to just go ahead and pick this hair out. You don't need to use anything in this hair to get the curls popping. But what I like to do is just fluff it up a little bit because the curls are a little bit tight at the root. So I'm just parting the hair and using my wide tooth comb like a pick just to get this hair big and fluffy. Y'all know I like my hair real fluffy, real rude. If you behind me, you can't see nothing. That's how I like it to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comb it out, fluff it out. And then I'm gonna take my mousse def mousse and flatten some of the flyaways at the top. Now, as for the ends, the I like my bobs to be a little bit more blunt. The shape of this is more like a roundish shape and I like a blunt bob. So I'm just cutting off a little teeny tiny little bit off the bottom. It's not even a lot, just a little bit. Just so it's a little bit more blunt. I don't even think you can tell the difference, but baby, it looks so good, so fluffy. So next, I'm last thing I'm gonna do is cover up this wig cap because I know y'all seen it. Y'all was being nice, y'all ain't say nothing. But I'm gonna take some Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in Golden Skin, I think that's the color, and I'm just gonna go ahead and melt that into the hairline. And that is the finished look. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with it. Y'all let me know what you think about this wig down below. I will leave a link for this wig down below. I'll also leave a coupon code down in the description box below. Thank you to Wild African Hair for sponsoring this portion of this video. Now let's go ahead and get into the face. Okay, y'all. Oh, girl, I am bright, bright. I don't like it. Okay, y'all. Let's go ahead and get started with the face. Now, I'm not going to be here for a long time, okay? We're just going to be here for a good time. We're going to chat, get this makeup done because this is supposed to be a simple look because this is a simple wig. So why are we going to put a lot into the face when we didn't put a lot into the lace? So we're gonna pop our headband on and then we're gonna quickly get dressed. Okay, for I would say the day, um, but it's 624. So we're gonna get dressed for nothing. But I wanna show y'all this new um, outfit that I got. Oh, maybe I'll show you the one from Amazon because that one's really cute. And I think I'm gonna wear it like out of town or something. It's getting warm. So I think it's super cute. Oh, ooh. We're gonna start with a primer. This is the NYX Bear With Me Primer. I really hate this headband, but it's okay. It's the only one I got. I'm really about to close these blinds because you can't even see my hair now. Let me close these blinds because I thought I was doing something special. Okay, oh, so much better because you can see my hair. I like it when my hair just blends into the background like this. I'm gonna start with um, my Lip Bar Skin Glow Highlighting Serum. So I already used the primer, and this highlighting ser serum is in Pretty Penny. I did a sponsorship with them, I think last year was it July? But I like to just add it to my cheeks and all my highlight areas, probably not my forehead, probably not that place. How y'all doing today? Y'all know I like to ask. Y'all let me know down below. How y'all doing? Tell y'all how I'm doing. You know, it's around that time of the month, so you know I got a little mood on me, but that's okay. Look at how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this um, MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Concealer. I'm basically out, but I love MAC for like 
just like like their concealers are like super thick so you can get rid of i love nw oh yeah this is in the nw45 let me get my brain right like what am i talking about this is in the color nw45 and i like mac concealers come on girl come out because i feel like they do a great job of like coverage but without a lot of texture okay so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out i mean i couldn't exactly be done now but you see how it gets rid of all of my discoloration i have a little bit more discoloration around my mouth because i don't know if i've been scrubbing my face or what but i've been doing too much with my face oh y'all see that yes now we can go ahead and do a little bit of highlighting i'm going to use my just a tint three in one skin conditioner this has spf and higher higher hyaluronic acid what high i mean i guess it's supposed to moisturize your skin but it's still like adds a little bit of well adds a good amount of coverage it said skin tint but baby this is a skin thick okay i really tried real hard with that <laughs> this is in the color caramel delight it's a little bit light but i don't mind it i'm just gonna add it under my eyes I'm trying to find a good like day-to-day -day look where I don't have to uh, where I don't have to put on like a lot of makeup but I still look like I have on makeup but I don't look like it like it shows skin but like not really you know what I'm saying like that's like a whole thing we're just gonna add this here and then add it to the chin up the nose on the forehead because we want to highlight there and down here and let me hold it like i got some sense i'll be squ i'll be beating my face down with my beauty blender i don't even care Ooh, y'all see that i need to blend it a little bit more girl that's one thing i don't do is blend y'all see that like look at it <gasps> the skin is skinny like it's doing it i wonder if i use this lip bar other skin tint foundation in um almond joy if it's a little bit too like if it's my skin tone i don't know let me see so this is the same skin tint in almond joy i think this may be my skin tone uh, um it's a little sheer but i feel like i can use it i feel like i can use it so i'm going to use that just to add a little dimension to the face i think i'm used to like oops I think I'm used to um, bronzing with something so orange that I look like a Oompa Loompa, but that don't have to be the case. You know what I'm saying? Like I can be light handed. Oh, that looks pretty. Like it looks natural, right? Okay, so we're going around the hairline. We'll go under the chin. Ooh, this hair is just like trying to be in the business. Okay, and I'm also gonna try attempt to contour my nose a little bit i want to look like a jelly down it so i'm gonna use deep peach i don't know why i always look at it i only use deep peach this is the nyx um stick blush and i'm just gonna add some to my sponge y'all know i don't like using brushes not because it's a technique thing but because i don't feel like washing my brush i don't feel like it so I'm gonna take a little bit of the blush and just, oh my God, it's giving very much jelly donut. Oh my God, so angelic. <laughs> oh my God, how far do you put your blush though? I'm gonna put a little on my forehead. I like putting blush on my forehead. I feel like it gives like more of a sun kiss look. And I feel like I'm being different, even though the girls are doing it now, I've been doing it. This is 1992. <laughs> Girl was born in 87. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take some Laura Mercier. I'm terrible at showing y'all what I'm using. The Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna set it and forget it. I'm gonna use a, a damp sponge with the same damp sponge. Cause I feel like it sets everything lightly. So I'm just dipping my sponge, my damp sponge into it. The same sponge I've been using this whole time. And I'm just gonna yeah 
lightly set my under eyes. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so my, my um, camera had went out, then my man was going to the gym. It was a lot of commotion happening in this house. <laughs> I was setting with the Laura Mercier powder. I kind of went over my contour and I kind of didn't want to, but I kind of did. So I set my whole entire face. So I'm gonna get up under these eyes one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and set my bronzer with a, another like loose powder instead of using a contour, right? So it doesn't give like all that weight. Instead of using a bronzer, I'm gonna use loose powder. Is that what I wanted to say? I think that's what I wanted to say. Now where's my, okay, so I'm gonna use, no, not this brush. So I'm just gonna take the dark, deep, loose powder. And I wanna see if this will give some color payoff. Is it giving color payoff or is it? Oh, somebody dog. I'm about to say, what are the girls doing out there? I'm also gonna take a little bit on this brush so I can get the nose. Y'all know I love this blush by Lip Bar. It's so, it's such a pretty blush. Am I gonna use this blush or that other brush? That other blush is like a lot. So I'm gonna use this blush and I'm gonna layer it and just, this is the blush on the Boss Moves palette. And this is the blush grinding. And I'm just gonna add it with a sponge. I don't have a clean blush brush at this moment. Okay, we get the nose, forehead, like right up here, and the chin. But I definitely like the cheeks. Ooh, oh, mm. Oh, now for the eyebrows. Okay, for my eyebrows, I just set them with a little bit of the Laura Mercier powder because that just gives you the best like dry brow to work with. Oily brows, girl, it's like, you can't do much with it. You know what an oily brow, so you need to dry them brows out. This is a NYX brow pencil in the color, I think it's black, girl. We're going all black. I need a like a, I usually get espresso or like a brown, but baby, this is black. Go bold or go home, you know what I'm saying? I'm already at home, so <laughs> I ain't got no choice but to go bow. So I'm just filling in my brows. I already pre-filled it, filled in my brows, but I like to do two layers. I'm just gonna add like little lines to it. I don't have to shape it much, but just, you know, add little hair-like strokes to make it look more hair-ish. Then I'm going to just spray my face down so we can set the face, girl, because this is it. Real simple on the face, let me spray it. Ooh, I feel like this is gonna set in very well. So I'm gonna let that set in. And next we can just go ahead and do our lips. Mm. I guess I prime my lips a little bit. Y'all know, for my lips, the best lip balm that I have used is the La Niege, Niege, Niege. I need somebody to help me. This lip balm right here is in the flavor berry. I love it. I didn't sleep in this last night, so my lips are really crusty. But I'm about to buy like the lip, whatever this lip balm to sleep in, I'm about to buy that. And I'm about to buy a whole bunch of those. It's expensive, $17 is a lot for a lip balm, especially we can get Carmex for a couple dollars. But Carmex don't do nothing for me. My lips, I passed the Carmex point. Vaseline, them girls can't do nothing with my lips. My lips, okay, if they were to get in the fight, beat them girls down, okay? So I'm lining the lips. I think I bought, oh, I bought a lipstick from Lip Bar. Duh. I'm lining the lips. Why am I holding two products? Okay, ADD. Okay, I'm lining the lips. Boom, bam. With the NYX rebel kind line loud lip liner it's one of my favorite lip liners so i bought this the other day this is the soft kisses nourishing lipstick with mango seed butter it's in the color contender from lip bar i'm loving using lip bars products for obvious reasons girl it's a black owned company but also 
they have really good like nourishing products so i'm on their little pr list which is cute and i've worked with them before but i've been a fan of lip bar since way before they even thought about reaching out to me so but look oh I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper because I really want like lips. And this makes my lip, this makes me drool. The only thing about using a lip topper on something that's not matte is that you lose your color. But, hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna let the face sit a little bit. You know how you need a little bit of oil? I probably should run around the house for like five minutes so I can get some. So I can get some grease on it, you know what I'm saying? This is what the face is looking like. I'm gonna say, why does it look like that over there? I'm about to go get dressed real quick. I wanna show y'all, I think I have, this is like a casual outfit or summertime outfit. I actually don't know what I'm wearing. Friend, okay, I'm coming. I want y'all to look at this. I ain't got no, let me take these socks off because it looks a mess. Okay, now as for the outfit, I'm trying to, I wanna show y'all, I just want to show y'all this outfit, but I wanted to see which bag should I wear with this, right? Should I wear this bag? So this is a coach, like quilted bag. Should I wear this handle bag? Or should I wear this? I feel like this one because the white matches. This is a little bit off. And this one is too. So I'll go with the white one. This white one. Okay. So this is the outfit. I'm not, I don't got on no shoes because I'm on my carpet right now. But I wanted to show y'all. Let me, let me put on some shoes. I'm just... <laughs> Y'all, my toes are nowhere near done. Like, they are... There's no nails on it, no color, no nothing. I need a little light. Okay, so y'all see this dress? I wanted to show you this dress in my vlog, but I haven't been able to show it. But the next time I wear it, girl, I want to wear it out of town. I want to wear it to the beach. I want to wear it in the sun. So I want to show y'all what this looks like. Isn't this cute? This is an Amazon dress. I think I only paid like 20, 30 bucks. I'll probably leave a notation of it on the screen, but it's so cute. Oh, not my bra falling out. It's like a sweater um, sort of material. It has these pretty like stripes in it. I feel like it's perfect for like summertime. Girl, I'm trying to, I had to push up the boobies. You know, I had to give y'all something. It goes all the way down. Like it's pretty long, but it has like a little split at the side and it's like a halter top. So perfect for the summer. Like, look at that. It's so cute. And I think they have different colors, but I just chose this one. Cause I feel like the blue and the pink and all that type of stuff was cute. And I feel like wearing it with like curly hair would be super cute, right? Right, do y'all like it? Y'all tell me if you like it. Cause I can send it back. <laughs> I can send it back for it. Y'all know I gotta give myself a hip, okay. I'll stand like this. And then I have this bag that y'all haven't seen in a long time. I put her away, but this is my Kate Spade bag. I forgot what type of bag this is, but it's the Kate Spade bag. And I have my watch from Nine West. This is a Kate Spade, uh, like a Cartier dupe bracelet. I think it's Cartier. An Amazon necklace and some Amazon earrings. These Amazon earrings I got in like a pack. So you can get a few Amazon earrings and these have like little lines in it like my dress <laughs> now for the scent y'all know i love this scent from from the ccs this is the beautiful bell estee lauder perfume it smells really good it has like a springy fruity i think it's fruity sort of smell i don't know what the notes are but it's like fruity and bright it reminds me of spring daytime brunch just it's fun and light. Like it's really, really light. It's not really, I don't feel like it's a lot of people that really wouldn't like it. And I have on my, um, I need to get more sandals, but these are the Steve Madden Hermes dupes. So I have those on as well. So this is what I, I when I go out of town or something, I feel like I wanna wear this. And it's cute. What y'all think? Y'all let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Get This hair really, like the more I wear it, the more it's like, it looks like just natural hair. It's insane. Like I feel like in another universe this is what my hair looks like. <laughs> like I got thicker hair or something in another universe. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now the skin is not ending up as um, 
skin like as I would like it to, but as it wears, I'm sure it will. Y'all let me know what other get ready with means you want to see because, I mean, I don't know if I like this halter. I feel like it's making my shoulders look a little, you know what I'm saying? Well, at least you would try me though. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.